Thousands of documents from the assassination of President John F. Kennedy are now open to the public. They were released late last night. But at the last minute, President Trump blocked the release of some of those documents to protect national security. The records we're seeing provide some new details about the investigation into President Kennedy's murder. WBZ's Anna Myler reports. Thousands of classified documents on the JFK assassination have now been made public. Among the many hoping for answers, the Secret Service agent who was with the president the day he was shot in 1963. Perhaps within them we'll find out the motive or the answer the question why. Late Thursday, President Trump agreed to block some of the secret records, citing concerns about revealing FBI and CIA sources who may still be alive. This breeds more conspiracy theories because people will speculate on what's being held back. Still, some new details have come to light. 25 minutes before Kennedy was shot, a London reporter received an anonymous tip to call the U.S. Embassy, quote, for some big news. And the FBI discussed Lee Harvey Oswald prior to the assassination. He was part of a pro-Fidel Castro group that was on its radar. The Cuban leader met with U.S. government officials and insisted neither he nor his government were involved with the president's death. Many are also hoping for details on Oswald's mysterious trip to Mexico, where he met with Cuban and Soviet spies and an expert in assassinations. Didn't the CIA know much more about what was going on with Oswald in Mexico City? Didn't they suspect that he was a much bigger threat? Um, and why didn't they warn Washington? Documents also show FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover wrote he was concerned about conspiracies and wanted to have, quote, something issued so we can convince the public that Oswald is the real assassin. Anna Myler, WBZ News.